Welcome to my video on multiplication. Let's learn how to multiply by counting the B's. Here we have 2 times 3, which means 2 is being multiplied by 3. So we're starting with the number 2, which is why we have 2 B's. And these 2 B's are being multiplied by 3. So let's do this. Let's multiply these 2 B's by 3. So at the moment, we have one set of B's. And now we have two sets of B's. And now we have three sets of B's. We have multiplied the B's by three. So now, how many B's do we have in total? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six B's in total. So two times three is equal to six. Let's try another example. So here in this example, we have three times 4, which means 3 is being multiplied by 4. So let's solve this by counting the cherries. Well, we're starting with the number 3, which is why we have 3 cherries. And these 3 cherries need to be multiplied by 4. So let's do this. Let's multiply these cherries by 4. Well, at the moment, we have one set of cherries. Now we have two sets of cherries. Now we have three sets. Now we have four sets of cherries. We have multiplied them by four. So now, how many cherries do we have in total? Well, we started with three cherries, and we need to add three for each group. So we have three, six, nine, twelve cherries in total. So three times four is equal to twelve. Let's go over another example. Here in this example, we have 5 times 1, which means 5 is being multiplied by 1. So let's solve this by counting the soccer balls. So we're starting with the number 5, which is why we have 5 soccer balls. And these 5 balls are being multiplied by 1. And notice how we already have one set of balls. We have already multiplied them by 1. So how many balls do we have in total? Well, we have the same amount as we started with. We have five soccer balls in total. So five times one is equal to five. Anything times one is equal to itself. Five times one is five. Six times one is six. A million times one is a million. So that gives you an idea of what happens when we multiply by one. So let's see what happens when we multiply by zero. So here in this example, we have 0 times 4. So we're starting with the number 0, which means we have nothing. If you have 0 objects, that means you don't have any objects. And this number 0 needs to be multiplied 4 times. So let's multiply this nothing by 4. Well, now we have 1 times nothing. Now we have 2 times nothing. Now we have 3 times nothing. And now we have 4 times nothing. Notice, no matter how many times we multiply by 0, we're still going to have nothing. So 0 times 4 is equal to 0. 0 times anything is always going to be equal to 0. 0 times 5 is 0. 0 times 6 is 0. 0 times a billion is going to be equal to 0. So I hope this gives you a better idea of what happens when we multiply by the number 0. So I hope this video gave you a better idea on how to multiply. I do have another video on how to multiply bigger numbers, so check this out if you want. I also have videos on how to add, subtract, and divide as well. All of these links are in the screen, so check them out if you want. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next one.